the mysterious, eerie, scary, spooky. I don't know how many more words I can come up with, but I come up with a lot of adjectives. Describe Vincent of Ring of Honor. We're going to talk a little bit of Halloween. We're going to talk a little bit of scary. We're going to talk some Ring of Honor. Vincent, thank you so much. Hey, what did you do, if anything, for Halloween? <laughs> hey, man, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, Halloween's like a, a, a big day for the family, you know what I mean? Just the month of October is a, is a, big, uh, is a big month for us. I mean, my daughter was born October 12th, so she's, a, she's a, an October baby. Uh, but we had a, we had a big, uh, big uh, Halloween gathering. Um, we rented out a place and had a big, uh, you know, ha Halloween party and, and had a good time. So we, we, we celebrate Halloween uh, quite often, man. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that, like, for kids and stuff, man, that you can't do, like, the trick-or-treating gig right now. But, uh, you know, we, ma we, ma we did the best and uh, we made it work. You are a Halloween persona as well, which is so cool. And your look is so cool. So I'm wondering, when you're having this Halloween party, do you even have to dress up? <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that, yeah, man. Um, I, I guess I, that's a compliment, right? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it depends. I mean, you know, if I be dressed up, you know, it'd be something to kind of, you know, usually at this point now, my daughter's six, I let her kind of pick out what, uh, she's into the, I mean, you know, she's six years old and she can name you off all the iconic horror films and uh, characters, so it's, uh, it's, it's pretty uh, entertaining uh, on my end because it, it reminds me of... Uh, me, when I was a kid, you know what I mean, man? Like, my mom's the one who, who got me into that stuff when I was around that age, too. So it's kind of cool to see that uh, that cycle, you know what I mean, kind of kind of run through the family of, like, just being a big fan of that stuff. So, uh, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I guess sometimes I do. She's the one who kind of picks it, you know. What, uh, but it's funny because, you know, she, uh, during the month, you know, she's drawing little pictures, and it'd be like, you know, me with, you know, the, my, ha my hair and the beard with, like, an axe, like, with, uh, you know, maybe uh, a bloody Matt Taven in the picture, you know what I mean, man? So it's kind of, uh, you know, it, it, it's cool. It's cool to see it kind of carry over from when I was a kid. Well, first off, yes, it was a compliment. And secondly, that is such a cool story. So I'm wondering, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. So I'm wondering then, what what does she like? Like, is there anyone in particular in the scary horror movies that she likes? And did you then dress up as something for Halloween? You, you know what, man? Her favorite um, is uh, it Pennywise, um, and but she is terrified of the movie. She won't watch the movie, but she loves the character, and she'll watch. Um, different YouTube things on, like, the figures and different makeup tutorials on, like, YouTube. She lo she loves all of it, all of, like, the uh, uh, special effects of things and stuff. But I I'd say Pennywise is probably her favorite. Um, she was actually Pennywise uh, last year. Uh, we, we did a, you know, it was, it was actually awesome. It came out awesome. We did our makeup really well. She had a really good costume, and it was, uh, it was cool. But she loved it, and she loves it, but... Uh, terrified of the movie but she loves Halloween um, that's another movie that she loves uh, you know you can't go wrong with the OG Halloween you know what I mean so <clears throat> it's so cool and it's interesting too because I'm thinking of different movies and different things and one that wasn't so much scary but I'm curious to get your opinion on Beetlejuice I love Beetlejuice man I mean, the Beetlejuice is just a classic, you know what I mean? And uh, I heard they're they're looking to make a second one. Yes. Um, with, uh, you know, and I know they were going, like, playing tug of war with it, man, with, like, as far as, like, uh, you know, if Michael Keaton was going to be in or if they were going to do it, but then I guess Michael Keaton said he was going to do it. And you can't have Beetlejuice if it's not Michael Keaton, right? So uh, I think it's pretty cool. But Beetlejuice... Um, yeah, I, I dig it, man. I think uh, I think Beetlejuice is just a classic, so can't go wrong. 
Yeah, Michael Keaton's great. Great actor. That character, that persona, and coming out with Beetlejuice. I mean, he was Batman as well. <laughs> Keaton's so I mean, good, man. I mean, he's, man, I'll tell you, man, he, he's, he's Batman as far as I'm concerned. He always <laughs> has been, you know what I mean? But I guess that's just me, you know, being, being born in 86 and just, you know, having that, you know, Joker and Jack Nicholson and, and Michael Keaton as Batman. But those are my Joker and Batman, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, Vincent, it's so interesting because I know with the spooky and the horror films and things like that, when you see these superhero type movies like a Batman or, and then like Superman or the Avengers and things like that, do you get into those as well? I actually, I don't. Um, I, I really don't. Uh, I don't mind them. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's just, I was never big into like superhero stuff. Like as a, I went through like a, uh, like I went through a little phase of it, like when I was a younger kid, and it was always Batman, and that's why I touched on the '89 Batman because I was a huge fan of that movie, man. And uh, but you know I, I like like I enjoyed the Dark Knight. I thought it was great, um, and you know it's not too superheroish, but the newer Joker movie I thought was fantastically done. Um, but I was never like huge into the superhero scene. Yeah, and with that, when you are in costume and you are dressing up for Halloween, do you have a character, whether you dressed up as that character or not, that is like your favorite? Do you have a horror movie or a specific spooky character that is one of your favorites all time? Uh, you know, um, one of my favorite characters of all time from a horror film um, is probably... Uh, Jack Nicholson in The Shining, Jack Torrance. Uh, you know, not much of a costume look, but like the just the way you know Jack Torrance is portrayed is just like it, it's so awesomely done, man. That movie was just it's a fantastic movie, The Shining. So um, that's probably one of my favorite characters in the horror scene. But if we're gonna go costume, as a kid, I literally was probably Michael Myers for years on end. Like, uh, I just always thought the mask is so cool, you know, which um, most people know, if they don't know, it's the William Shatner mold uh, with the eyes cut larger to create the Michael Myers mask. But uh, I was always a fan of the kids dressing up as Michael Myers. And it's like, it's funny, uh, I got a little story, uh, you know, growing up, it's, um, the neighborhood kids, uh, you know, it's, it's weird because I grew up in this little, you know, city in Warwick, and, uh, you know, before we moved to the, the ranch, uh, and uh, my wife, who used to live right behind me, I've known her since she was two, and we would, we'd all grow up in the neighborhood together, and our version of Manhunt was like, I would dress up as like a Michael Myers or a Jason, have to look for everybody in the Manhunt game, it was kind of a, our own version of Manhunt, but it was, uh, it was fun when we were kids, you know what I mean? Uh, it was just one of those kind of crazy things that we kind of made up, uh, but it was fun. But Michael Myers as a kid was always like my go-to uh, costume, so I'd say probably him. And you mentioned, is that Warwick, Rhode Island? Correct. It's interesting because Warwick just has that sort of scary, spooky type of name in itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, I, just, I was started in Cranston. Uh, and then we moved to uh, Warwick. Well, it's interesting. You mentioned some iconic figures and also some names. And I'm thinking like Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, Joaquin Phoenix, the Joker, yeah. like you said. I mean, these are some tremendous actors as well. And just to see them pull these things off. How big of a movie fan are you? I'm a huge movie fan, man. I, I, that's kind of like, and like horror movies, you know, like as a kid, like, you know, and I guess even as an adult, it's kind of my escape, you know what I mean? That's my, like, I love, I just love watching them, I love, and then that's not just like watching, like, I like to get into the detail of, like, behind the scenes, and, and, and like you're saying, like, the, the work that's put into them, and, you know, everything you can learn from them, uh, you know, I've always you know, been a big movie fan, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, for sure, I, I've always been into movies, and, you know, especially the horror genre. I just feel like, and even the horror fans, man, like, 
going to like the horror conventions. I've done a couple signings at conventions, and before that, I was going. You know, we would go there as as just horror fans. You know, and uh, it's it's just cool because like that that horror community is just like everybody has that same interest, and, and you know, it's it's a good time, and everybody likes the same stuff, and like you you know you meet you meet some cool people, and you know, it's a good time, man. And your wife is big into it too. It's a family thing. Who are some of her favorites? Uh, her favorite horror movie of all time is Scream. Um, she loves Scream, and uh, she, she loves a lot of the same stuff I do. Like we love a lot of like kind of style, like uh, Creep Show. You know, um, God, we're going back like uh, Toby Hooper, like Fun House, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like. You know, all the all the older ones that kind of, you know, still hold up today, you know what I mean? Like, when you go around, like, most people mention these these ones, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, those are the ones that she digs, and, you know, Scream's her favorite, so. And she's, uh, yeah, she's, we're, we're big into, like, true crime, too. We love a lot, a lot of the true crime documentaries and, and whatnot, uh, and all the different types of uh, serial killers and, and, you know, all that stuff that's out there. Man, I'm so glad you're taking the time to do this because I am really enjoying this. <laughs> and you mentioned you mentioned Scream, and I'm just curious. And I, you know what? I, I probably know the answer to this, but I'll ask it anyway. So, does she have a ghost face mask? She does actually. <laughs> she does actually have a ghost face mask um, that's in a shadow box. That is, uh, you know, I she had signed by the actors, I believe. <laughs> Uh, but, she, yes, she does have one in the shadow box. Oh, that's great. I want to know about Vincent of Ring of Honor. A lot of who you are is what you are. I want you to describe it, though, and tell talk about your group that you have and the members of the group. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, what you see is me, you know. I, uh, you know, it was, was a long time toiling on, on the indies and just trying to, like, you know, figure out how to um, open up and just kind of show who I was, you know what I mean? And I think that, uh, you know, uh, toiling, you know, with the kingdom, man, and like, you know, uh, you know, everybody says that, you know, you know, Taven himself says that, you know, he's the one that got, where, you know, but I was the one to stand in front of every single bullet that was fired at Taven. Uh, you dig what I'm saying? So I, you know, Vincent was born, uh, I always say Vincent was born, man, on uh, November 2nd, which is not too long ago, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, November 2nd of 2019, was the, the night Vincent was born when I, uh, you know, put the axe to Taven's head and cut him open and kind of went on my way. Um, and that's the night that I feel like, you know, like, this is my time. This is my time. And, and if the, the violence is the ticket and the, the, the freedom to peace for Vincent, then, then so be it. And then uh, I opened the door for others that are been toiling for a while on the Indies. You know, um, Bateman, who is from the West Coast, has been toiling for a while and, and doing it for a very long time and has a similar mindset. And uh, Vita, who is just kind of looking for a way out of her situation, so I kind of spent the hand and brought her on board. And, uh, you know, now we're, you know, you know, the righteous uh, is, is what we're known known as, and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, our our message, we can continue to deliver that message, you know, and it starts with, uh, unfortunately, Matt Taven was the first one that I had to kind of, you know, you know, cut to open that door, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's, that's kind of like, you know, Vincent is giving now those, other people that are, have kind of the same path, a similar path, uh, you know, to, to, to kind of, you know, give them the platform to, to, you know, show people who they are. The Righteous is such a cool name as well. And just to do that and to pull that off, you have to really be into something like that. You have to be able to be true to it. And that's what you do. Can you expand on that? Yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta believe who you are, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you run into a bunch of, you know, people are going to, uh, you know, say this, say that. But if you're just 
true to who you are and what you're doing and what you believe in, and then that that you have the answer. You know, so no nobody can tell you who you are except you. You know, so if you go out there and and that's you're you're comfortable in your own skin and you know that, then that's that's your you're being true to yourself. You know, um, which it's hard sometimes, but. Uh, you know, when you find it, you know it. You found it. You know. So, uh, you dig what I'm saying here. So it's like, you know, when you find that, that you'll, you'll know it. The feel, certain feeling that you're like, okay, this is, this is who I am, and I'm gonna show everybody who I am, regardless of what, what is thought. You know what I mean? Or, or any uh, type of other opinions. You know, because everybody's gonna have their opinion, regardless, no matter what you do, or who you are, or what you're trying to, you know, sh- show. Uh, you know, so as long as you're, you know, you believe in it yourself, you know, you're good, man. Now, you mentioned the axe, correct? Axing Matt Taven, right? Oh, yeah, man. He's got a <laughs> sweet scar on the top of his head. <laughs> now, I'm curious. Now, learning what I learned, I'm wondering, did you bring out your inner shining in that moment? I, you know, the, the axe came from that, you know, like when we talked about Jack Torrance earlier, and, uh, you know, and, and, and it's funny because, uh, you know, we had that conversation before in the locker room when I was in the kingdom and we had a conversation with each other, me and Tave, and he's like, oh, who could you ever use that on? You're never going to be able to use that on anybody, and, you know, he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he found out. <laughs> yeah, he found out. He just happened to be the first person that uh, I was able to use it on, you know? Uh, so there you go. There, there's the answer he was looking for. Do you have anyone else on the axed list? Um, right now, um, you know, Taven wanted to come back. So, I mean, right now he's still kind of in, uh, a thorn in my side that I need to get rid of. Um, so I'm kind of dealing with him in the moment, man. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a, you know, a uh, mistake on his part. So, I mean, like, once I get through this, uh, you know, I, I, my mindset on, on Ring of Honor gold, man. Like, you know what I mean? I've been the three-time six-man tag team champion. I think it's time that, that me, Vincent, I, I start, you know, putting my eyes on, on uh, you know, some singles gold or, you know what I mean? Or even if, you know, me and Bateman go for the, the Ring of Honor tag team championship, you know. But after, you know, I get done with Taven, you know, and, and getting that message across to everybody that, you know, <clears throat> it's the spotlight's mine, not his anymore. Do you know what I'm saying? And then I can, you know, focus on uh, whatever I got to do next. Now that's interesting. Focus on titles and championships then. And in doing that, you mentioned about the kingdom. And I'm just curious as well. If you do go for singles gold, and that is a goal of yours, how do you how do you process going from tag team six man tag to singles action? And I know you've had I know you've worked singles before, but it's a whole other ball game when you're in singles action. Yeah, I mean, like it it, it is. You know what I mean? Especially man, especially from like. Six man tag team champs, you know what I mean. Six man, uh, six man tag matches in general, they, like, you know, those are those are those can get pretty wild, man. And you know, and it's just like, you know, bodies flying all over the place and just you know, action everywhere. And then uh, you know, which you can kind of take like a little, you know, you get your little times out when you tag in and out your partners, you know what I mean. But like in singles, you know, you know, you got to bring it 100 percent the entire time, all the way it's on you. You have no one to lean on on that in that situation, and like you said, like I've had plenty of singles matches before, even before Ring of Honor. You know, singles singles uh, singles guy for for years. Um, so it's just it's it's getting that uh man, it's getting that like repetition in, getting that repetition in, and just you know doing it again and just you know keeping it rolling, and uh you know taking it from there. You know, but it is like uh, you know stepping through that that door that was closed for a little while again and just getting you know back in the groove of it 